What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be doing a video on just a generality of your fleets and how we all keep talking about the future. Now, that is a great discussion that we always have. This one just seems to think so. But when we have the conversation about ships and the future of Star Citizen, we rarely take into consideration the present and probably a few months from now. We always think of about a year or two or whenever Star Citizen gets its act together and gets to the point where we have two or three systems in act and we have server meshing, we have the ships that we want, we have the Polaris, the Perseus, the Javelin, the Idris, we have all these hot ships, we have these great fleets, we have these massive fleets, but does really anyone ever think about when they have a small fleet of say a Polaris, a Perseus, um, a Mole or something like that, they don't think about the present. They don't think about the loners that they're going to get from these ships and they don't think about what is going to be right now instead of, I don't know, two years from now. And this is a discussion that I have find myself questioning more and more when people keep asking me about their fleets. I don't typically give advice on fleets anymore. I don't, I do like the discussion of it, but I don't like giving advice because someone else might like something different to what I like. And that is completely and totally understandable because that is how Star Citizen works and I can't get this one off my hand. So going into the discussion of this and the reason that I actually talked to you today about this, sorry I'm just doing some other stuff, is that we don't really think about what do we need for Star Citizen at this very minute instead of two minutes or two years down the track. All right, so. If you've only got a thousand dollar fleet, or you've got less, and you think about getting a Polaris, a Perseus, that's fantastic, get it. If you're going to get it as a CCU for an LTI or whatever it is, I don't care. Keep it as a CCU. Melt it, but don't apply it. Now people think that we're crazy for this, and I do this all the time, and a lot of people do this just because of the value of that CCU. Now I'm not saying don't keep that CCU. I'm saying simply, if you can't afford to have the loners of a Hammerhead or a Harbinger and you don't want them, don't apply it. Because at the end of the day, think about what's happening right now in Star Citizen and what you want to get out of the game this very minute. Don't think about what you want in a couple of years time. You have to think about the very present of the game state and where you want to be and what you want to do. Because if you have a loner of a Hammerhead, you don't want that ship. You don't need that ship. You might have a good use for it, but we don't have events as usual or as frequent as we would like to use these said ships and you know it's not a bad thing that you want to get these ships it's the fact that you're going to put yourself in a bad spot you may feel resentful because you your purchase towards these concept ships and if you're going to buy them you have to be completely at peace with it yes we're not all going to be at peace with having a $700 ship in US dollars but you can make the better choice of having a ship that you can use right now say a caterpillar or a carrick or an arrow that you want to go low flying in or you want to have a cutter or you want to have a cutlass black just I'm naming all these ships because they are more applicable they have more use in the verse right now than the loners that you get from a lot of ships yeah you have a lot of great loners so if you have a banner merchantman you're going to get a hercules c2 i'm pretty sure and you're going to get a lot of these great loners now if you were to have a hull c i'm pretty sure you get a hull a as a loner and a hull d um but you know we got we got the hull c coming up which is going to be massively game changing for star citizen in a um a financial state of in-game and just the commodities of how they work and if you want to get a, a a really great useful ship this very minute have a whole series have a hauler that you may think so a whole d should get a whole c as a loner just because it's typically the lowest ship and it's going to give you that access to that ship if it doesn't just get a whole c because the best thing you can do is think about what's happening in a couple of months say 3.2 you're going to get the whole C. You might get another ship as well. There's going to be a lot of ships that are in question. But at the same time, get a ship that is close to what you think is going to be released. I always sort of think a little bit ahead. I got the Ares because I knew they were going to come out soon. I got the Corsair because I knew that was going to come out soon. I got all these ships like the Scorpius because I knew that wasn't going to be too far away. 
I didn't know, but I knew it's sort of like it was in active development. So thinking that, you know, you can get these ships because of that, and it's going to be some advantage to you because it's going to add CCU value, you might want to melt it and get rid of it. But the CCU value is there. You get that extra money. I have a Redeemer at its original price, and now I got this ship that I don't really like because they've kind of ruined it. But now I got the opportunity to CC you up because it's worth more than what I paid for it. And that's always a good thing to think about. But I don't like the fact that people are basing their fleets on two years, three years, whatever that time is from today's time. And I want you to think about it. I want you to get back to me in the comments, join our Discord and chat about this because it is seeming to be a bit more of a frequent discussion that I keep getting brought into and people in the discord keep getting brought into and you know everyone's it's great it's it's good to think about this this was me a lot uh, quite a while ago but i've just become to the light and the realization that is it really important to have that discussion now is it it's good to have those ships so the value of them doesn't just go hike but it's good to get a ccu melt it and get the ships that you want now keep those ships that you want now if you want to buy a standalone ship say a standalone Corsair get the standalone Corsair that's fantastic and I'm not you know I love LTI I'm not gonna preach it to everyone because it's not for everyone but if you want to get a Perseus get a Perseus once that 24 hours is up melt it get rid of that thing put it in your buybacks you can always get it back you can always get it back so I cannot stipulate this enough look at the loaners for the ships that you want to buy and if you want to apply that CCU because hammerheads who needs like four hammerheads? I melted my javelin and my Idris because I don't need them right now. I don't need them in my fleet. It's taking up value, like valuable capital that I want to put it somewhere else that I need for now, not in five or six years or if it ever comes out. Think about it. Put it in your mind and just sit on it. Let me know what you all think about this in the comments. A lot of people are going to be against this and I'm totally fine with that. I'm not going to argue with it at all. So let me know what you think. Peace. See you in the verse.